we have done it with ideas, and we have done it with hard work. Because we are resilient and strong as the people of this great nation. Thank you to our incredible staff and our unstoppable volunteers. Uh, my wonderful husband, John, our daughter, Abigail. And the people of New Hampshire, because of you, we are taking this campaign to Nevada. We are going to South Carolina. And we are taking this message of unity to the country. Because we know in our hearts that in a democracy, it is not about the loudest voice or the biggest bank account. It is about the best idea and about the person who can turn those ideas into action. We know that we cannot win big by trying to outdivide the divider in chief. We know that we win by bringing people with us instead of shutting them out. Donald Trump's worst nightmare is that the people in the middle, the people who have had enough of the name calling and the mud slinging, yeah. have someone to vote for in November. Yeah. I. wait to bring our green bus around the country. Yeah. I, I cannot wait to win the nomination. Yeah. I cannot wait to build a movement and win with a movement of fired up Democrats, of independents and moderate Republicans. Yeah. That see this election as we do. We see it as an economic check on this president. We see it as a patriotism check. And we see it as a decency check. Because in the end, we know that what unites us is so much bigger than what divides us. And we know, we know that we believe, so many of us believe, that the heart of America is bigger than the heart of this guy in the White House. Tonight is about grit, and my story, like so many of yours, is one of resilience. I announced my candidacy in the middle of a Minnesota blizzard, and there were a lot of people that predicted I wouldn't even get through that speech, but not the people of my state and not the people of New Hampshire, except then they predicted that we wouldn't make it through the summer. We did. Then they predicted we wouldn't make it to the debates. And man, were we at the debate in New Hampshire. <laughs> what we've been is steady, we've been strong, and we've never quit. I think that sounds pretty good for a president. <laughs> but across, across the months and months and miles of this race, we redefined the word grit. You see it with our happy, scrappy campaign. You saw it, you saw it in our 10 county, 30 hour tour in the middle of a nor'easter. Let's not forget that. You saw it in our early morning diner stops and our late night rallies. And yes, you saw it on that debate stage. Just like so many of you out there, I know a little bit about resilience. My grandpa worked 1,500 feet underground in the mines in northern Minnesota. He never graduated from high school because his parents were sick. He had nine brothers and sisters, and he had to help raise them. And every day he would go down in that cage in that mine carrying a lunch bucket that my grandma would pack. 
His youngest sister, Hannah, was only eight years old when they put her in an orphanage, and he vowed after his parents died that he would go and get her. And two years later, he borrowed a car, he went to Duluth, and he brought her home. He, he and my grandma saved money in a coffee can in their basement to send my dad to a two-year community college. My dad then became a newspaper man. My mom, she was born in Milwaukee, the site of our next convention. And she came to Minnesota and taught second grade until she was 70 years old. And I still meet people that say she was their favorite teacher. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.